up, y'all? This is Pastor E, and you're tuned into Real Blessed Sundays with Pastor E. I love you. I love you. I really do. I love you because my destiny is directly aligned to your reaching yours. My purpose is to empower you, and I move out of a space of love as I bring this content to you each week. So when I think about true love, when I think about the notion of love, I can't help but think about God's love. And when I think about God's love, I can't help but think about John 3.16, one of the most popular scriptures in all of the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave made the ultimate sacrifice of his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And when I think about that love, I think about Paul in Corinthians when he talks about love and rolls out this list of love's attributes, love being patient, love being kind, love keeping no record of wrong love, true love, God's love. When I think about all of that, I can't help but think about how sometimes I get God's love all wrong. I mean, I am one that empowers people constantly as it pertains to God's love for them. Letting them know that God's love for them is unconditional. And yet sometimes I get it twisted and sometimes I feel like, even as a pastor, that I'm earning God's love. That somehow when I don't perform as well, be it if I make a mistake or I don't read my scriptures as often as I'd like, that somehow God isn't checking for me anymore and and I'm out. And I know that's a lie. I know that's a lie, but I get that wrong sometimes. And so when I need help outside of my my village, if you will, that empowers me, I'm reminded of Romans 8, 38 and 39 that, that says that nothing can separate me, you, from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, nothing. It, it highlights life, death, angels, demons, and it goes on and it says nothing in all of creation is able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. And that includes you. Maybe you have that warped narrative too. Maybe you get it wrong too and sometimes think that you have to earn your way into God's heart. But that's so wrong. That's not true. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells us so. Romans 8, 38 and 39, John 3, 16. As a matter of fact, the entire Bible is one long love letter to humanity, to you. A demonstration of love. The, 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 the work of God's hand to redeem the world back to him I love you you know why now God loves you Jesus loves us for the Bible tells us so